again today i'm going to take this video because i came across these skylights they're called tubular skylights they were installed about 10 years ago but since uh, they were installed the guys they didn't know how to install them so what they did they figured out they made like a little like a little square box with wood and then they mounted on top and then they put the flush in for the uh, tile this one used to be a tile roof Hi, today I'm going to uh, take this video. Uh, I'm going to install this uh, uh, tubular square light. I recommend you whenever you're going to install one of these, you got to install a uh, a base that it's uh, made of aluminum. Uh, but this guy, you know, he never he never buys the aluminum one. He buys this one at Home Depot, and they're way cheaper than the proper ones for, for a tile roof let's say for example a tubular skylight that's uh, made for a tile roof it costs you about 500 bucks this one is just rigid you know um, plastic one it costs you about a couple of hundred bucks maybe 250 something like that so it's way cheaper than than the ones for a uh, or tile roof but anyway I'm here to waterproof it and today I'm gonna show you how I do it okay I came up with this idea a long time ago and I'm gonna show you today I'm gonna to share it uh, it works for me it's been working for me for the last probably like 10 15 years no let's say 10, 10 years that's when I started installing them because before I didn't I didn't know how to do it, and a lot of people out there, they don't know how to do it. They have a hard time to figure out. So today I'm going to show you the way I do it, and hopefully my way works for you. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, then go ahead and buy the the proper flashy and, and do it the proper way. But this way, it makes no difference between the if you buy the original flashy and if you don't buy it. I'm gonna tell you the secret. I got I got you through the steps, and then hopefully uh, you can you can work it out and make it work. Okay, bye bye. First, you're gonna have to remove all the tiles around the uh, the area. Now, I usually make sure that I have about two feet clearance around the skylight, at least, or two feet between the the round uh, tube and the the next tile. Like right here, I have about almost two and a half feet. I hit about two feet so and then later you're gonna have to clean up everything all the debris make sure you sweep it you just get a broom like this or whatever works for you and then uh, clean it and then i'll tell you the next step second step is to uh, apply roof cement around the edge of the tubular skylight put like a medium coat of the roof cement and then uh, turn it upside down and center you just look at the center and make sure that you're right there okay All right this is the this is the real waterproofing thing because that's one that's gonna stop the water okay and then second just nail around the the perimeter and that's it. ¿Estás grabando? No, estoy tomando foto. <laughs> para que se lo mande a rojo porque se le olvida. Para otra que lo mande solo ya sabes qué hacer. Uh. Ok, rojo. Más uh -huh. que tienes que hacer. Que no te olvides. Mi... Step number two, you're gonna make a little frame. But make sure that your your little uh, one bytes are going up, they end up uh, like right in the middle of the top of the tile you see so they fit underneath the they fit underneath the tile here so they're going to be hidden and then if you want to make sure that your ceiling stick is going to adhere to the wood then you supply a, a little piece of uh, a piece of peeling stick underlayment and that's going to make sure that your your underlayment is gonna it's gonna fit perfect, okay?
Okay, so this is the basic idea. It's to frame a, a little box around the around the uh, <coughs> the skyline, and the skylight sitting in the, in the middle. And now I'm gonna set my peeling stick. I'm gonna make the cut, and I'm gonna pretend that this is a flat roof. So my my peeling stick is gonna overlap all all the way. I see where you see I primed primer with the asphalt primer asphalt okay some somebody says ass and then fault <laughs> I didn't say asphalt asphalt primer okay asphalt primer See? so this crab makes miracles all right guys uh, it's going little by little so hopefully you you like it and it's gonna look good it's gonna look better than than any uh, and the original flashing because it's gonna get all covered. My peeling stick. Um, this time I'm using uh, Serenity uh, um, SA cap sheet. So it's a uh, peeling stick material. You just remove the film and you peel and stick. And it goes like this. This is the main idea. You put some uh, wood on the on the sides to prevent the water from going that way, and then you overlap about five inches on top of the existing tile on the bottom one, and then you left some channels for the water to run down. And then those tiles, uh, you stick them with uh, mastic or or foam uh, adhesive. Okay. Today we're gonna use mastic, so by the time it's gonna adhere to the tile. And this is the way I do it. And then we're gonna put some uh, roof cement around the skylight, and that's it. I'm gonna show you how I do a a uh, <coughs> curved mount skylight. See this guy? They only they didn't remove the tiles on the bottom or top. They just removed the tiles to to mount the frame. So now I'm gonna have to clear the the area so I can work uh, with my materials. Okay. Make sure that you clear the path like this so you can work around the skylight. Okay, and then in the meantime, Rojo is doing the the cuts on the. You see how he's, he's applying some rough cement? And then he's doing the cuts on the tile. And he's placing it on. So, he's gonna cover the entire. Uh, Kayla with a tile. It's gonna cover it so you're not gonna see all the all the torch tile that we installed around. It's gonna be hidden underneath. And then, and then you put your uh, tile pan. You overlap your uh, roof to wall on top of the tiles. And then you drywall on the inside. I don't do that. Chepe does it. And then I start filling up the missing tiles and then I get all the cuts at the end. See? Make sure you use a peeling stick so that way it has a better grip. And then uh, close the thing, remove the film on the skylight, otherwise, if you leave it like that, it's gonna stick to it and you won't be able to remove it. I'm painting the flashing before I install the the full tile. So that's the way I do it. And then rojo is coming. I pull el otro de abajo. See I'm done with my tubular skylight. This is a new one. This is an existing one. See? The new one looks better because it's all covered. So you don't see any of the metal, you know, like this. This one is this is the way it's supposed to be, but since I don't have the uh, the flashing for that, so I just made it like that with peeling stick, and I painted it red. I painted it red because I wanted to match the 
existing uh, roof. Okay. See. And then I'm gonna put some water here just for the test so you can see how it works. Okay, let's pretend that water comes here. A little bit. But we'll have I'm gonna have nothing to you see where the water is coming from? You see it? See guys? So this is the way the water is gonna flow. Okay? So all the water is gonna run underneath and gonna end up right here. You see it? There's two way there's two areas where the uh where the um, tiles shape the shape the peeling stick, you know, to the so we made a channel, you know, when we installed the tile. So see, don't worry about it. Okay. So I didn't have done this for a long time. And this one is the new skylight I just installed. Okay. Also, I'm gonna do another water test to show you guys where the water is coming from. Okay. Let's pretend that it's raining and the water is gonna drop right here. It should come out of the tile pan, you see it? See right here? This is the tile pan, so water runs underneath the tile. See? This is what the water is running. See, it runs underneath the tile pan, and it comes out there, you see it? So the tile right here is just for looks, right? So make sure that you know the, the basics about how to do a basic uh, a skylight a lot of people you know had a friend of mine that he's been a roofer he says that he's been a roofer for 20 some years and last time I gave him a job in San Diego and he called me he goes Eric uh, there's a skylight here you know the Velux he goes but I can't install it on why he goes because I don't have a I don't have the the flashing and I told him, can you make one? He goes, well, I don't know how to make it. And he said he's 20, 20 some years. Uh, uh, he's been a roofer for 20 some years and plus. So something's wrong right there. Something doesn't match. How come a, a, 20, a 20 year old roofer, I mean, uh, he's about 30 some, almost 40 some. And he doesn't know how to do a basic uh, metal flashing for a skylight as a roofer you're supposed to know it you know you're not gonna have the the pre-made uh, um, flashing for the skylights all the time so you're gonna have to know you have that's a basic thing that's the basics of the trade that's what I, I keep on telling people you know like young kids you know they, they just started roofing about three years ago they think they know everything they think they know it's the same as a driver you know if you ask like a, a 20 year kid that's been driving for a couple of years he's gonna tell you he's the best driver in the world and yet the insurance is so high for them because they know they they're not good drivers you know they're not responsible that's what I mean when I'm saying that uh, it's better to have a an older roofer that's been on the roof for for more years than a guy that I'm not saying they're not gonna have any any skills I mean there's the cases when you some people they come around and you know they're young they learn so fast but it's so so fucking rare to see them you know I haven't I've seen a couple of them only but sometimes they fail because the more you are on the roof the more the more details you see the more you learn so this is a this thing is a learning experience every day you learn something new every day every day so I'm not saying because I've been on the roof for 37 years and uh, I know everything you know there's new materials coming up every fucking day that and that's why you know people like sometimes I get frustrated with people you know they they try to tell you oh this is wrong this is I do it this way you know there's so many ways to do a, a roof so I just show you my my practices the way I do it and if it works for you, if you want to try them, try it. I'm not forcing anyone to do it. But hopefully, you know, my videos help someone on the crowd. And uh, greetings, this is Eric Garcia. We're all my respect for the roofers, the roofing trade, and homeowners. Hopefully you like this video. 
and if you like it subscribe okay share share with your guys and uh, hopefully i can help out someone in the crowd so you